Greetings everyone and welcome to another edition of the Sooner Sports Wrap. I'm your host Bob Barry Ogle. Today we have infiltrated deep into the heart of Texas and are broadcasting from Longhorn quarterback Colt McCoy's dorm room. Fresh off of winning his first Big 12 championship, McCoy is here to join us on the show today. Um, I've actually won two Big 12 championships. Really? When was the other one? Well, there is this year's end. The other one is top secret, so we're not allowed to talk about it. But Colt, this is the first Big 12 championship game that Texas has played in since 2005. You were a freshman sitting out a red shirt that year. Surely you aren't claiming you won that championship? Oh, snap. I forgot about that one. I've got three. You can't claim to have won a championship in a game in which you didn't play. Besides that, everyone knows about the top secret asterisk championship last year, and it doesn't count. That isn't what Coach Brown said and I've got rings to prove it. Well let's move on from this insanity and talk about your senior year here at Texas. Running the gauntlet and leading your team to an undefeated record your senior season has to be special. Well, first I'd like to apologize for how messy my room is. It really isn't appropriate for your show. I had noticed, but wasn't going to say anything. It's just that Jordan and I... You are referring to your roommate Jordan Shipley? Yes, Jordan and I get carried away playing WWE Smackdown. You wrestle with your college roommate? Oh yeah. I take him down with a horse collar and he hits harder than a Nebraska defensive lineman. It's a lot of fun and a great stress relief but it sure can make the dorm room messy. Besides that, every time we get things nice and tight a Sergio Kendall crashes his car into the building and just messes stuff up again. You wrestle with your college roommate. Bob, it helps build team chemistry. Unbelievable. All right, back to the question. I'm sorry. What was the question? Your senior year? Oh yeah, it's been great and beating Nebraska gave me my Heisman moment much like Sam Bradford's flip against Oklahoma State last year. Do you really feel that you had a Heisman moment in that game? Didn't you hear Coach Brown after the game? He said I did. He also told me that there wasn't a quarterback around who threw interceptions or got sacked better than me. I'm not sure that was a compliment. Sure it was. And the way that I orchestrated that final game-winning drive was a thing of beauty. It might as well have been John Elway out there the way I made it look so easy. That final drive was a disaster. You nearly cost your team the game and a shot at a BCS championship. I don't know which game you were watching but Coach Brown said our game was never in doubt and that everything went according to plan. My final drive was a thing of beauty and a dog named Sue gave us a lot to overcome. Not many people could have done what I did. A dog named what? A dog named Sue, the Nebraska defensive tackle. You haven't heard of him? Oh, I've heard of him, but that isn't how his name is pronounced. That's what Coach Brown said his name was. Well, it's not. It's spelled N-D-A-M-U-K-O-N-G-S-U-H. It's okay. I don't think he speaks English anyway. That is so disrespectful and racist. He's from Oregon. Well, I'm not for sure where that country is, but they sure grow some big boys there. There you have it ladies and gentlemen, Texas favorite native son. I'm actually from New Mexico. Okay then. Give us some initial thoughts on Alabama. Well, Coach Brown says that we've already won because we made it through the Big 12 undefeated and the Big 12 is the best conference in the country and all the high school recruits in the country should be proud of that. You do know that Alabama is the number one team in the country, right? Coach Brown says that rankings don't matter and he never, ever, ever puts any stock into them. Besides that my biggest concern is that I've just learned there is a game clock and when it times down to zero the game is over. That's a lot of pressure. Well, this brings to a conclusion another edition of the Sooner Sports Wrap. I'd like to thank Texas quarterback Colt McCoy. And don't forget Heisman winner. Colt, if you win the Heisman they need to change the trophy from a stiff arm to a quarterback laying on the ground with a certain Nebraska defensive tackle standing over him. That's mean. I'm going to tell Coach Brown. Why don't you program his iPod while you're at it? Are you kidding? He doesn't let anyone touch that thing. 
It still has Vince Young's fingerprints on it. I just want him to love me like that. Thanks for joining us everyone. See you next week.